In today's video, we're breaking down, analyzing the personality type of Ashley from Best Dress. Introverted feeling is a personality superpower that lets certain people know very clearly what feels right to them. This personality superpower, introverted feeling, it's all over Ashley's content. I would actually argue it's what makes Ashley's content so special. Introverted feeling, it has a sort of confusing name. It's not that only introverts do introverted feeling. It's more like the way that these personality types like expressing, like prioritizing, like exploring their emotions, their values, their feelings, they do that in an introverted way. They like checking in with themselves, not paying attention to the outside world, what they should be doing, outside standards and expectations. No. For these four personality types, they like looking inside when it relates to their feelings. Okay, so the first video we're gonna look at is this video. That looks like an authentic one where we might be able to see a little bit more of her personality. I have taken out my Invisalign and this is the album. So we're only 20 seconds in, but the thing that really stands out to me is how much Ashley likes showing us her world. She likes showing a lot of different sides of herself. She likes showing herself in a lot of different contexts. The put together side of her, the more sloppy side of her, the really productive, ambitious side of her, the overthinking side of her. Introverted feelers like seeing the full spectrum of their personality, of their individuality. They see all the different sides of themselves and they like celebrating that. They don't like mushing it all together. I'm someone who naturally focuses on who am I really, who am I normally, and then just sort of like cutting away, sort of trying to erase the things that aren't really me. Oh, that lazy side, that's bad, let's get rid of that. That extroverted side, it's not really fully me, so maybe we should be getting rid of that. One thing I really learned from introverted feelers is seeing all those different sides, my lazy side, my productive side, my ambitious side, my reflective side, my introverted side, my sneaky side, all the different sides, seeing all those different parts and sides as me and not sort of just judging it as a good or bad thing, just realizing that I am a lot of different things in a lot of different contexts, and maybe that's okay. Recently, over the past like three weeks straight, I have been deep in the editing hole, editing my apartment makeover. I started with 16 hours of footage for just the makeover part, so it's been taking me a really long time, but I finally finished it last night. This is the first time I have edited a video with like this much of a gap between the filming and the editing. I started filming my room makeover when I was 20. I filmed it starting 11 months ago when I first moved into this apartment. And it has really like made me reflect on how much I've changed over the past year. It was so weird watching me from a year ago because I was trying to be this like very punchy version of myself. With introverted feelers, it's very common for their personality to sort of bubble out, spill out without the person even really trying. When they're really feeling something, it shows, it pops out because of how much they're checking in with that rich, inner feeling. Everyone can be authentic, has an emotional side to them, but just sort of like the way it pops out with introverted feelers is very unique. I want you to imagine like you're going for a walk, you put on some big headphones, you click on your favorite playlist, and the beat of those songs, you just start to feel it. What those songs remind you of, what they mean specifically to you, it starts making you smile, it starts making you bob your head, it starts making you throw your arms out and start dancing in the middle of the street. When those moments happen, you are dancing because of the song that you can hear, what that song is making you feel. It doesn't matter that no one else can hear that song, the feeling, the self-expression is just sort of popping out of you. It doesn't matter that other people can see you, what other people are thinking, what is appropriate or expected of you, whether it's practical or rational. Introverted feelers are really good at that gut feeling, listening to their own song, letting it pour out of them no matter what. The magic of these people who have introverted feeling as one of their personality superpowers is, especially when they want to, they can express their individuality or very naturally come off as authentic in a way other personality types struggle to. Sometimes I feel dumb talking about these like very YouTuber-y problems, but I feel like maybe they're interesting to you guys. Anyways, I'm trying to relax a little bit. I feel like for the past two years, I've just been like building and building and building my YouTube channel. And I used to look at my statistics so much and be like, if I'm not gaining 3000 subscribers in a day, then I have failed. 
And now I just don't look at that shit anymore because honestly, like I am so fucking happy with the number of subscribers I have. Like I am more than honored to have 2.4 million of you guys. So now I'm just trying to focus on like making really good shit that I'm proud of or um, just having fun and like being myself. I sound like an inspirational poster, whatever. Okay, let's go pick out an outfit. Here's my outfit. These jeans are the Levi's ribcage jeans and I am so obsessed with them. They're so good. I cannot stand high rise jeans that are like nine inches. No, I need 12 inches. It's very easy for Ashley to bring us into her world because she focuses on her world all the time. She focuses a lot on all these different sides of herself, how things make her feel. And she likes expressing that. She likes making that clear and obvious and colorful to other people. Let's bring this baby up. I weirdly get like really nervous about the thumbnails for my videos because I feel like nowadays the thumbnail makes or breaks the video. You have to market your video in a way that is the right vibe, artsy and friendly, but like a little bit funny, but also like aesthetic. And it's so hard to fit in like this tiny, tiny little picture, the entire mood of like a 42 minute video. So I do have this weird nostalgia for the days of YouTube when they would just pick the thumbnail for you. And all of the thumbnails were just people who were like, they were just like midway through conversation. And it must have saved people so much time because they didn't have to do this bullshit. Anyway, here's my paintbrush. I'm gonna <laughs> For people who use introverted feeling as one of their personality superpowers, so an ISFP, an ESFP, an ENFP, or an INFP, being seen as fake, as phony, is like the worst thing in the world to them. They will try to do everything to make sure they don't come off as fake, as phony. It makes them really sad to be called that. Where other personality types might say, oh yeah, I was feeling a little tired, a little sad, a little off, a little bit down. An introverted feeler will put in a lot of extra effort to express, to explain what they specifically were feeling. If you're an INFP, if you're an ENFP, you know how much you like clarifying your intentions, your motivations. Hi, I am taking a quick intermission to make brownies because I want to eat them. I don't have a mixing bowl, so I think I'm just gonna mix it inside this pan and then bake it in the pan so it doesn't stick everywhere. I have had some people ask me like what my diet is and stuff like that. And I wanna make a whole video talking about this, but I really like don't diet at all. I know things work differently for everybody, but like I did the whole 30 for a while. I counted all my calories on the app for a while. Um, and for me, that was just like a not a healthy relationship to have with food. It made me feel like guilty every time I ate. But then also I was like constantly thinking about the next time that I could actually have dessert or actually have like yummy food that I wanted. And now I feel like it's all about balance for me. Like sometimes I'll want to eat something healthy. Sometimes I'm just in the mood for brownies. And that's- It's in every single one of her videos. It's so core to how she sees things. Notice how even when she's talking about these broader societal issues, it's all through her perspective, her individual perspective. How did those things make her feel? Fitness culture is just like thinly veiled old school values of telling people that they should lose weight or look thinner to like look more attractive. Like when I was dieting and doing the whole 30 and stuff, like I genuinely just told myself it was because I wanted to be healthier. But I think deep down my own motivation was just that I wanted to lose weight and I really like hated how my body looked. So I think those have always been uh, entangled for me. I know this is a controversial opinion, please don't unsubscribe, but I hate the corners of brownies and I only like the edge pieces or the middle because I like it gooey. One misconception with these feely personal personality types, especially these four personality types that use introverted feeling, is that they're not analytical, that they're not logical, that they're just sort of a bucket of emotions and just like not thinking about things. When in reality, if you actually listen to an introverted feeler, they are thinking a lot. They are sorting and organizing and analyzing a lot. It's just that instead of like seeing things in a sort of data point way, they're actually sorting feelings. How is this making me feel? Is this in alignment for me? What is this exact feeling that I'm feeling? What what are my true intentions? What are my true motivations? What is that person's motivations? How is that person sort of affecting me, changing me? Even though it might not come out in a obviously sorty analytical way, if they're 
actually much more critical and analytical and into correcting you uh, than you would think. Now, introverted feeling isn't always perfect. It does also have some downsides. The forums gossiping about best dressed are sort of scary, so I didn't spend that much time there, but from the glances I did make, some of the reasons why people find her problematic or bad, a lot of people criticize her for being inconsistent, sort of changing her mind a lot or shifting her stances and stories around a lot. The thing that you have to understand about introverted feeling is that when these personality types have a stance on things, it's not really for other people. <laughs> the thing they're checking in with isn't what what they used to think, some sort of outside standard or expectation, what they're checking in with, it's their own individual personal stance. They're sort of looking at it from their own perspective. Does this feel right to me? They're not really trying to champion a cause and force things on other people. They're also not always fully into being super consistent, right? When they are expressing themselves authentically, right? If you're dancing in the middle of the street, bobbing your head, that song is making you smile. You're not gonna do the same dance moves every single time. You're gonna do like what feels right to you. And that is going to shift and evolve a lot in the moment and also over time. If you're an ENFP, you know this happens. You can think something is the coolest, most magical, wonderful thing in the entire world, and then like two days later, it's totally not. Things can really matter to you, feel super, super important, but then you like hear a couple other sides of the story and then maybe you change your mind. Instead of judging these personality types for how much they just go with their feelings, I've actually found it's awesome to appreciate how much these personality types go with their feeling. Even though it might look inconsistent, express itself differently every time, it's sort of awesome how consistently, how relentlessly these personality types find conviction, find clarity from that gut feeling. That's something a lot of us can't do, a lot of us ignore, which causes a whole bunch of other problems. Um, and at first I was, at first I was gonna get really offended about that. At first I was gonna get really offended about that and start my own conference. Um, at first I was gonna get really- The second criticism that often gets brought up about Best Dressed is her like fake side, her performing side. There's this clip of her repeating her lines, doing take after take, overthinking things, perfecting things, obsessing about the intonation of things. And it's easy to see this clip and go, whoa, is this all a show? Are all these videos just a fake personality? But, but I figured that's been done already. But, but then I thought, but then I figured, Ashley, that's been done already. And not have oh adequate gosh, space in my facility. Um, and not have adequate, um, and not have adequate space in my facility. Um, 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 and then just make up, um, and then just end up forcing everybody, um, and then just end up forcing everybody to wait outside and, um, and then just end up forcing everybody to wait outside a high school, um, and then just end up forcing everybody to wait outside the building for hours until- Honestly, like, I don't find this that scary or cringy. Like, I, I repeat my sentences the same way. Um, I, I repeat my sentences over and over again. <clears throat> I repeat, it surprises a lot of people, but it surprises a lot of people. It surprises a lot of people, but I repeat my sentences over and over again as well, like trying to get the intonation right, trying to actually say clearly what I'm trying to say. Like, But you know, in terms of this tying to her personality, right? If someone uses introverted feeling, how can they be inauthentic like this? How can they, why, why can't they just like, do their first take and it works out perfectly. Shouldn't that be something they value and prioritize? In this clip, Ashley's really trying to deliver a joke. She's trying to make it happen. She's trying to just sort of force it, even though she's obviously not feeling it. It's completely slipped out of that self-expression authenticity headspace. And you can see she's totally not comfortable. She's very flustered. She's very overwhelmed. She's like driving at the same time. When introverted feelers stop feeling the feelings for themselves, that's not good. Like, things stop working. Imagine from before, you're dancing in the middle of the street, you're listening to your music, it's making you smile, it's making you bob your head, and then suddenly a crowd comes around you and goes, sweet, can you do that dance move again like that you did like a minute ago? Can you just do that same exact thing again? Another person asks you, hey, can you explain to me why you were dancing? Was that really the best time for you to be dancing? Can you write me a little essay justifying to me why you should have been dancing? When introverted feelers are pushed too far out of that self-expression authenticity place and instead they feel pressure to perform, to just get things done, to explain themselves, to justify themselves, 
things just don't work. It's very common for them to get flustered, to get overwhelmed, or for them to close off going like, hey, I am like super happy listening to my own music. Like you don't need to hear it. I'm just doing my own thing. These personality types are at their best when they give themselves time and space to feel the feelings for themselves. If you're an introverted feeler, I want you to know that that emotional side of you, that expressive side of you, that very individualistic side of you, that is something to be celebrated, to embrace, not be afraid of. It's gonna be sometimes confusing to other people. You're not always going to fit in. You're not usually going to be able to fully express, to explain what exactly you're feeling. But even though introverted feeling throws people off, I want you to see how awesome it is that you throw people off with your individuality. You're able to point out and express and celebrate certain colors, certain emotions, certain flavors of emotions that other people completely forget about. Without even trying, you being so fully you really helps inspire, help other people be more fully themselves. When introvert feelers are in a good place, expressing themselves, expressing their individuality, they are, without even trying, inspiring other people. Just like when you watch a best dress video and it's instantly personal, it's instantly intimate and relatable and compelling. The amount of colors, emotions, flavors of emotions that introverted feelers just naturally bring to the table that they say, yeah, it's allowed for you to express that side of you. It's hard for people not to be captivated by that, not be charmed, not be inspired by that level of authenticity. Introverted feeling isn't a curse. It's not a limitation. It helps you be a powerful, unique change maker in this world. And I hope today's video could help you see a little more of that. That's just one out of many personality superpowers. You might not have introverted feeling as something you're natural at. I don't have it as something I'm naturally exploring, playing around with, but I have other personality superpowers that make me me, let me do specific things Ashley can't do. Thanks guys for being here. Like, watch some other videos if you wanna help uncovering your personality superpowers, expressing your individuality. Many more breakdowns coming soon. You are the change maker of your own life. Let's sink more deeply. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace, bye.